I'm back. Hey peeps, welcome back to my channel. My name is Drusilla Shea, if you don't know, up oh, Red D. And I'm so excited because I took a little hiatus and I am back, back, diggity, back. We just needed a little refresher. We need to get some personal things together, okay? But I am so happy. Okay, I miss my YouTube family, but we're here now. We're reunited and we are gonna get straight into this video. So it is no surprise that it is cookout season. We have the cookouts, we have the barbecues, we have the picnics, we out. Hi, I'm just here to, you know, be that internet auntie, be that internet friend of yours to give you tips on what you can wear to picnics, cookouts, barbecues, whatever you want to call it. So let's just get started. So my first favorite thing to wear and the most recommended thing I can give you guys in this video is maxi dresses. Maxi dresses are great to wear to casual outdoor events for a couple of reasons. One being that Obviously, if you're outdoors, you're probably gonna be dealing with bugs, especially in the summer season and in the spring as well. So when you have a maxi dress, at least you can cover up a lot of your bottom half and not have to deal with like swatting the mosquitoes, okay? Cause we all know that's what happens. Now, are, are they gonna be coming up your hands, your shoulders, your collarbone? Maybe, but just a little tidbit, if you do want to deal with less bugs, definitely don't be spraying anything sweet or have any like sweet smelling hair products and stuff like that, cause that attracts them even more that's a different topic okay for a different day so maxi dresses they'll cover up your bottom half but the great thing about that is that maxi dresses usually are not tight they're flowy they're loose so you get the coverage without having something that's like restricting you without having something that is making you even hotter also the great thing about maxi dresses is because most of them tend to be on the looser side you can be more comfortable in the midsection area so when we go to to these events we get ourselves a plate or two or three because we're there for several hours which means you're picking at stuff and sometimes you might end up getting a little bit full so having a maxi dress is great just to make sure we're staying comfortable in the midsection area go ahead and get yourself some seconds and thirds i don't blame you it's free food if you do not have a maxi dress already in your closet but you have a maxi skirt you can also rock that and pair it with a top it's the same concept as a maxi dress you just have two pieces of the outfit it that you have to put together and you get the same kind of benefits from that now if you need ideas for what you can wear with maxi skirts you can wear tank tops you can wear crop tops you can wear you know plain t-shirts if you want because the maxi skirt is going to bring some more dressiness to the look anyway so you know I've seen people wear maxi skirts I've even done it myself where I wear a maxi skirt and a plain like t-shirt and then I tie it up make that little knot in the middle and I just have my maxi skirt flowing and it's just like a cute casual kind of look so those are the kinds of things that you can wear with a maxi skirt now another thing that I would recommend to wear to these picnics and cookouts is honestly anything that is a linen material linen is so great to wear during this time of the year because it is so lightweight it is so breathable and that's what you want when temperatures really start getting hot there's linen sets there's linen pants there's linen shorts there's linen tops you can get pretty much anything in linen also also, linen tends to dry more quickly so if you're somebody who tends to sweat a lot fan out the sections that begin a little sweaty it's gonna dry really soon if you want to wear pants but you don't have linen pants you can try for a lightweight wide leg pant wide leg pants are also really great if you want to wear pants outdoors for a longer period of time in the summer season and in the spring season because it is breathable okay it is not sticking to your skin it's not really tight that's the thing with tight things they can tend to make you really hot when it's already hot outside but if you're wearing something really loose it just gives your legs more air to breathe so if you don't have linen pants you can also go with a lightweight wide leg pant like a chiffon material even so a third thing that I will recommend is the sundress and sun hat combo that never fails okay sundresses obviously are perfect for the summer and the springtime that's really when you can be comfortable in them they're usually really lightweight that's the great thing about sundresses and they're really playful so they also tend to be like a little bit dressy not extremely dressy but you don't have to put in much effort into your outfit when you have a sundress on it looks like you already ready when you add that sun hat you're just taking it over the edge the great thing also about a sun hat is shields you from the sun if you don't already have it and you can afford to get it 
I would say get a sundress, get a sun hat because those are for sure staples. So one of my favorite things out of this whole list of recommendations is smock dresses and swing dresses. I think that they are like the cutest thing, especially for the spring and summer seasons. They're super playful, super cute, and most importantly, super comfortable. Smock dresses and swing dresses are loose. They're flowy. They're gone with the wind fabulous. So when you're walking out in these streets in the summer heat, you still gonna be looking good. This is not the time that I would recommend wearing like really really fitted things or body cons or anything like that because you're gonna catch yourself sweating. This is gonna be suffocating your skin. You don't want that. You don't want that. Something that is really, really great to pull out during this time of the year for outdoor events is rompers or jumpsuits. Obviously, if they're short sleeves. Rompers and jumpsuits are great because if you're struggling to put an outfit together, it's already like a built-in outfit, okay? Just like a dress is a built-in top and bottom. You don't have to deal with, okay, what can I match this bottom with? What can I match this top with? When it comes to rompers, when it comes to jumpsuits, you already have the top and the bottom taken care of. All you have to do is add the shoes and accessories. So that is a great alternative. Also, a lot of them tend to be really cute summery types of outfits. So I would definitely say go for it because you don't do rompers much in the fall and the winter. Like it's not really meant for that. So this will be the time to pull it out. Now, something I would have to caveat is because it is one whole outfit and it is a short or pant at the bottom. You just want to make sure that you have the whole bathroom situation covered, okay? You wanna make sure that you know where the bathroom is, you know how to get to it quickly because it is really annoying when you really, really, really have to go to the bathroom and then now you're dealing with having to like unzip the back to just to take off everything to go potty. Don't wait for it to be an emergency. Don't do that to yourself. Just don't do it to yourself. Now I'm gonna give my last main tip of what to wear but make sure that you stay tuned because after this I'm gonna be telling you things to just avoid or just things to be aware of when it comes to choosing your outfit for outdoor events. Now if out of everything that I've said you still don't know what to wear you still struggling here are some things that you can look for in your wardrobe that may help the the process going with choosing your outfit. First of all if you have any florals, that would always be a great idea for the summer and the spring. Now, of course, there are moody florals, there are dark florals, but go for like the lighter florals, the colorful florals, the bright florals. Those are very summer and spring appropriate. They match perfectly with the season. They're really, really playful. And also, if you are the type of person to spill food and drinks, like you might be a little bit more on the clumsy side, florals are great for you if you are going to a picnic or cookout or whatever because the pattern tends to be busier. So if you spill something on yourself, chances are it's not gonna be extremely obvious it's not gonna be like oh my goodness she has this huge stain on this very very plain outfit right if you have a plain solid outfit and you spill something it is very noticeable unless it's black it's very noticeable compared to if you have really busy prints and patterns going on so florals are a great great idea for these kinds of events if you don't have any florals in your closet look for things like puffy sleeves puffy tops those loose you know lightweight tops that are perfect for the outdoors because they are also very playful they also are more on the dressy side so you can just pair them with like shorts and call it a day also an additional thing if you have ruffles in your closet Chances are it's like a playful piece. Ruffles tend to be very, very playful, very, very like summery and springy. So if you have an outfit that has ruffles on it, a dress with ruffles, a top, consider it because chances are it's really appropriate for these outdoor events. Now, moving on to things to avoid when you're going to picnics and cookouts. First thing that I would say stay away from are heels, ladies. Ladies, there's a time and a place. There is a season for everything. You're probably gonna be getting up, sitting down, getting up, sitting down, going to get your third plate, going to get your fourth plate, going to say hi to cousin A, B, C, D, having reunions, standing up talking for two hours. Heels are not gonna be comfortable for that kind of situation. You want to be comfortable, you wanna be in flat shoes. Also, when it comes to these events, there are sometimes games. You got tug of war, you got racing games, people doing cartwheels out in these streets. So you just want to make sure that you're setting yourself up correctly. On top of all of this, a lot of these events take place in like the grass and the dirt, okay? They're not all on concrete. So a heel in the grass, 
you know where I'm going. It's not cute. It's not fun. The heels is going to be digging into the floor and you're not going to be comfortable. You're going to be wobbly. Floors aren't always even. Okay. People's backyards are not always even. The parks ain't even. The floor is just not even. Just to prevent taking a tumble, just make sure that you are not wearing heels. And if you do want to wear heels, just make sure that it is a block heel that is on the shorter side, okay? A block heel is way more comfortable and it is also way more sturdy so you don't have to deal with like that skinny, skinny heel. And you know, if you really, really have to pull it out, then go in that direction, I would recommend. Alrighty, so something else that I just want to throw out there. It's not something that you have to avoid, but it is something that you just have to be mindful of white i love white clothes but stains happen to the best of us spillage happens to the best of us i try my best to keep white as much as possible white okay but it, it doesn't always work out that way especially if i'm going to an event with food and lots of food and dirt okay like there's dirt on the floor there could be dirt on the bench there could be dirt on my seat and i don't know about it there could be just dirt in the air, okay? And then there's ketchup everywhere, mustard, mayonnaise. It's just a lot of things going on. It's a risk, okay, when you're wearing white to events where you're going out to eat a lot of food and eat like messier foods, eating finger foods. So what I recommend is if you really wanna wear white, just bring one of those like clothing eraser type pens or something like bring baby wipes, bring something that you can like wipe your outfit with in case there is a stain and just be more aware. Something that I would say to avoid is short skirts. Again, ladies, there's a time, there's a season, this ain't the time. For a couple reasons. One, when you have a short skirt on, you have to deal with just making sure that your underwear is not showing. So if you're going to a picnic, you're sitting on the picnic, blanket on the floor now you got to make sure you're crossing your legs in a certain way and you're more self-conscious and stuff because you don't want what's underneath your skirt to be like just exposed to the world okay so that just makes things you know a little bit more uncomfortable and you just don't want to have to be caring about that you know at least i don't that is one reason why another reason why is because again at these events a lot of the times you find yourself playing games and if you do Skirts are not the way to go. You could fall, okay? And then it's just like, whoop, just, it's just exposed. And short skirts and tight skirts are restricting. And it's just not really the best thing to be wearing in those cases. So last but not least, something that I will completely avoid is stiff denim. Obviously, stiff denim is stiff. It is not very flexible. So you just don't really want to have to deal with, you know, a hard fabric that is restricting you. You want to be comfortable. Although denim is really popular at these events, I would say go for a denim that is more stretchy. They definitely have stretchier denims out there. But for me and my household, we're probably not going to be wearing denim at all. And I'll tell you why. There's nothing wrong with denim, especially if you're going to be outdoors and, you know, you just want like a tougher fabric. But for me, denim... In the summertime, like I'm just gonna be sweating out in these streets, okay? Like denim really, really makes me hot. And if you're somebody that gets hot very easily, like you're not naturally like a summer person, denim is probably not gonna be a great option for you because it is on the thicker side. It's probably gonna make you sweat more. So if you are somebody who tends to sweat a lot or if you just wanna be more comfortable, go for fabrics that are more lightweight fabrics that are more stretchy. Like I mentioned before, if you want to go for linens, although linens are always stretchy, it's lightweight. If you want to do something really stretchy, you can go for like a spandex, like biker short. Just something that will help you be more comfortable in these situations because you tend to go to barbecues and cookouts and picnics and stay there for hours. You don't just go for like 20 minutes and leave unless you're one of those people. But if you're not, if you want to hang, then just do, you know, the most comfortable thing so that you can enjoy your time there and not have to be worrying about what you're wearing. So guys, those are my tips for what to wear to the cookout, what to wear to the picnics, what to wear to the barbecues. Let me know what you think of these tips down below. And if you, you know, decide you want to use any of these tips that I shared. And if you have any additional tips that you want to share with the people, I'm also learning. I want to hear from you guys. So let's make this a conversation in the comments. While you're at it, if you enjoyed this video, like there's a thumbs up button that I'm going to need you to press. And also make sure that you join the family. Go ahead and press that red subscribe button. Don't play hard to get. 
don't play just come on over to the bright side and while you're at it please 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 turn on that bell notification button so that anytime i post you will be up to date i appreciate you all for watching god bless you and i will see you guys in my next video next sunday deuces